Hey, Papper people, Grandpa Linky here, your favorite and fattest, thickest booty you can pop a quarter off of, registered polysomnographic technologist. Guys, I just noticed, we have cats in the background absolutely canoodling. Disgusting. This is not a cat channel, and if it was, it'd be a, a Christian cat channel. Now we're gonna be talking about breathing with CPAP. Breathing with CPAP um, is really just like breathing without CPAP. What do I mean by that? When you breathe in, there's this pressure there. It's easy, we're inhaling. We're actively using our muscles to breathe in. Now, when we breathe out during the day, like right now, I don't do anything, I just relax. That's it, I let gravity do its thing. Now, the same, the same goes for CPAP by level ASV. When you exhale, you really just need to relax. So inhaling is active, engaging muscles when I relax. When I exhale, I relax and I just now what that feels like with CPAP and why people start to get a little panicky is you feel like your lungs are expanded more than normal. You feel like you still have air in there. So you feel like you have to push and force it out. You don't have to do that. You're inducing panic in yourself, anxiety. Just relax. Whatever air comes out, comes out. The next thing you know, you're breathing in again. Something must have exited. Best thing to do is not try this while you're actively trying to sleep, but try this when you're doing something relaxing, like reading a book, um, playing video games if you do that, watching TV, something that you're just, you're really not thinking about it and just let it kind of happen. After about five minutes or so, sometimes 10 minutes, you're completely acclimated to it. You can even increase the pressure, try to really test your resolve and see what you can get away with. It's a good exercise to realize how much pressure you can actually deal with. It's, it's definitely a lot more than you think it is. Trust me. Okay, we still have cats. Get down with it. Business Jason here. Would you like to score a screaming scary deal at CPAPsupplies.com? For the month of October, you can use discount code SCARYLANKY25. The 25 is for 25% off. Wow, that's a great deal. Maybe you're looking for America's favorite piece of plastic that you can put between the hose and your mask. That's the VCOM. The VCOM's awesome. Business Jason uses VCOM every single night. Why? Because it decreases air aphasia and especially the cheeks puffing. Business Linky gets cheek puffing all the time. I look like a business squirrel. But Business Jason doesn't want to overpay. If you look on their website, it's $30. Wow, that's a great deal, but it can get even better. If you use discount code SCARYLANKY25, you can get that for Gadzooks. $22.50. Wow, what a bargain. This discount works for other masks and accessories. So before November hits, make sure you use Scary Linky 25. But to do that, you have to visit CPAPsupplies.com. Are you slim or business slim? So let's talk about, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's check out the old comment section again. I can't wear CPAP anymore because it gives me extreme pain right below my chest. Even wearing CPAP for about 30 minutes, I start to develop this pain. This can be one of two things. I highly suspect it's the intercostal muscles stretching more than you're used to. This is like if you have tight hamstrings or something, you have to stretch them babies out. It's gonna be uncomfortable. It's not gonna feel that great for a while. Uh, if usually if you fight past this, I would actually use CPAP while you're awake. You can get this over with while you're awake. Um, this is just something you actually have to acclimate yourself to. Uh, the other thing it can potentially be is aerophasia. I don't suspect that though, because you're basically saying you're wearing it, you're, you're developing it at that point. If it is aerophasia, you can try things like bi-level. Uh, you can use something like uh, the VCOM works really well for aerophasia. Oftentimes it's people not on the right pressure. Um, most people think it's too much pressure. Oftentimes it's too little pressure, uh, especially coupled with a mouth leak or a mask leak especially with a full face mask. Snuff Man says, I'm struggling to get a stable seal with it. And I believe that is the Avora full face mask. I really, really basically had to tighten it down big time to keep it from leaking. Actually with a full face mask, what I'd actually err on the side of is getting a soft cervical collar to create bulk up underneath the chin. When you tighten it without anything, you're taking your jaw and slamming it back in your airway, creating more of an obstruction that really no amount of air is gonna be able to realistically fix. Um, so what you should do, use a soft cervical collar, create bulk under here, and then your mask, you can have it just snug. That'll resolve the sealing problem more than anything. So soft cervical collar, correct pressure, just slightly snug on the mask. Don't need to over tighten it. Don't want to over tighten it. Classic music hasalas or something. Hey, your videos are the most helpful. <laughs> I know. I'm having difficulty with the Dreamwear mask vibration farting sound. 
of the silicone flap near my nasolabial fold. God, what are you, a doctor? Christ, dumb it down for me. It was so loud that I couldn't sleep. I really need some help. Uh, if you're getting vibration, it's because your mask, actually it was the same one I just answered. Your jaw is falling back slightly, creating a slight gap, which is creating vibration in the mask. So soft cervical collar will actually keep your jaw thrust forward. Actually, if you have an oral appliance that keeps your jaw kind of jutted out or even neutral, that'll help too. But soft cervical collar, snug mask fit, vibration, farty farts, go away. Very late, so probably a dead comment section. Phew, no such thing. My videos are timeless. You can look back 10 years. The information almost still applies word for word. So very much struggling with chafing. This is with a nasal pillow mask. Would love to use pillows. Seems much more simple than stuffing around the other stuff. I don't know what that means. Uh, I actually just did a video on this. My very last video was about nasal chafing with a nasal pillow mask. Check out that video. I'm not answering that here. You know what? You wasted the last one. Thanks a lot. We, we didn't get to someone else's question <laughs> because of you. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful, maybe entertaining, trying to make a dry CPAP somewhat moist. <laughs> if you wanna have an AXG pap therapy analysis with me, you can certainly do that, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Chat with sponsor, check out, let's speak clearly, check out the sponsor of this channel, cpapsupplies.com. Remember, for the month of October, you can use discount code SCARYLANKY25. Other than that, it's just 20 lanky and you only get 20% off. You should have bought in October. Your fault should always watch my videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Clean your stinky mask with some mask bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another. Slightly less thick, thanks buddy, to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff.